I want to show in this video how to drill through a 200 year old stone wall which has granite in it. Basically you got to use a diamond bit like this. Some guys do it dry but this wall is about 18 inches. This does 14 inch core. It's got a 12 inch extension. If you do it wet it's 70 times more life on the bit. And this is the inch and a quarter connectors. There's are basically pipes. SDS Bulldog drill. Have an adapter, go to one and a quarter. This is called a water swivel. One and a quarter. And it just basically gives you a little flow of water through the bit. And it makes sure you got a bit that doesn't have any holes in it. it wasn't that much money for these things. And then it I couldn't find any videos on how much force that it takes. It takes about 50 pounds to 100 pounds of force. So I use a little come along there to help me pull the drill in. Now you can rent a core drill which has a rack on it and it has a little pinion and a handle. Pushing it by hand is going to be really tough. So I just use a come along and I made a jig to keep that hole straight because you don't want to drift when you're drilling or you'll start binding on your drill. But it's pretty easy to do by hand and I'll show in this video how to do it. Let's get a little bit of water flow right there. Start spinning the drill. You can spin it full speed. The water is clearing out the debris and keeping that diamond cool. For a hole this deep you want to have a guide So my wood is fastened where it doesn't move and that way I can keep my drill. I'm keeping about a quarter inch centered right there. And you also want to drill with the clutch so that when you bind it's not going to tear up the bit or tear up your arms. No mess in the place because I cut my water before I got to the very end and there's the hole two feet of stone I also I pitched it so my wooden jig has a little bit of slope this is getting a mini split and that's a long enough horizontal run where you want to slope it for the drain the second hole is hitting solid granite so I doubled up on my strap, makes it a little easier to hold. But I'm looking at three hours on this hole. You're getting this type of core out of it. If I were doing this again, I'd probably recommend rent a coring machine because it's a lot uh, easier on the arms. There's the solid granite got through. Now I'm going through two layers of brick wall and wanted to say what helps keep the bit centered is put some support on the drill. And now since I'm in between two walls I'm just intermittently spraying some water in there because I don't want to flood inside the house. So after two holes through the granite I hardly lost any diamonds at all. And notice the diamonds are sticking out. That means it's not glazed. If you didn't use water it'd be glazing and then you'd have to run through cinder block to unglaze it. But the diamonds are clearly, you can feel them, and blades in good shape. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.